So, dear students, I am going to uh, teach about uh, thermal engineering. So, in thermal, so therm we have so many concepts in thermal engineering. So, uh, now for, for the first time, I am uh, going to know about the gas turbines, right? So, we know uh, gas turbines are used to produce the power. Uh, so, we will uh, produce the power by two ways. Uh, number one, by using hydraulic turbines and also using by what gas turbines, right? So, so, the concept is uh, different for uh, what uh, to producing of power from uh, hydraulic turbines and uh, this gas turbines. So, now I am going to uh, tell you about the how uh, the gas turbine will produce the power. So, power, we know uh, that electric power, right. So, firstly, this gas turbine is works on Breton cycle. So we know so many cycles are there. So for the IC engines, we have we have so many cycles like auto cycle and uh, diesel cycle. Okay. So for that, uh, uh, for this gas turbine, same is thing. Uh, so one more cycle is there. That is what Breton cycle, and it's also known as Joule cycle. Okay. We have, uh, so in Breton cycle, we have uh, four process, right? So number one is constant pressure process. So, constant pressure process and uh, two adiabatic processes, adiabatic or isentropic process. So, I will give you clear explanation. So, so there are total four process. I will give you the uh, clear explanation uh, regarding the Joule cycle. Okay. After that, I will can draw the how the uh, process will be. Uh, go on in a gas turbine. So, I will uh, let you know afterwards. So, so, for example, first we have to know the uh, which process are going uh, takes place on Joule cycle or Breton cycle. So, simply I will draw the PV and TS diagram for that uh, what a Breton cycle now. So, firstly I am going to draw the PV, PV diagram of gas turbine, right. So, this is the PV diagram of uh, gas turbine. So, we have here four process uh, number. So, here 1, 2, 2 is a what adiabatic compression process. So, in this process, we will compress the what air to what uh, to some uh, maximum pressure. We will uh, compress the air to maximum pressure. So, here the pressure is what P1 and we are compressing the pressure to P2. So, here the pressure is increasing, right. So, at the 2, we are giving. So, in this 2, 3, we will give heat here, right we will give some heat or we will give some fuel here to burn the air ok. So, in this 2 to 3 this is what constant pressure process in this constant pressure means in that in that place uh, so constant pressure will take place that is what P2 is equal to P3 here what the pressure P2 is equal to the what pressure P3. So, we will here in this uh, 2 to 3 position we will give some fuel here we will give fuel and uh, we will try to burn that fuel to get uh, what uh, maximum pressure. So, here the P3 is maximum, P2 and P3 are the maximum pressures and after that, uh, after increasing the pressure and temperature of the what air, we will expand it on the turbines, right. So, this P3 and uh, this uh, 3 and 4 is the exp uh, what expansion, adiabatic expansion process. So, we are going to expand the air uh, in process of 3 to 4. So, we will expand that uh, uh, compressed air in the process of 3 and 4 right. So, so in this process the air will get expand 
right so whenever the expand takes place the the volume will be increased so if the volume will get increased so obviously pressure will decrease right so that's why i am showing here p1 is equal to p4 right so p1 is what whatever you are sucking the air inside the compressor right so that is what p1 so here p4 nothing but so we will try to expand that uh, compressor high, uh, high pressure and temperature air in the turbine so it will decrease its pressure p4 right so now i will explain which process will be takes place on what uh, gas turbine so i will draw the main components of gas turbine so as you know uh, the main concern of the gas turbine is what a compressor and combustion chamber and what a turbine right so i will draw the uh, process and i will uh, i will tell you the what process will actually go on the gas turbines i will tell you the clearly right so i am going to draw the uh, process of a gas turbine okay so this is nothing but breakdown cycle okay breakdown cycle so i will draw the ts diagram for this pv uh, the, uh, for this breakdown cycle afterwards so first we have to know which process will be takes place on gas turbines So, this figure will describe the <coughs> process of what function of a gas turbine. So, here the major components are compressor, combustion chamber and one turbine, right here. I am showing the compressor, uh, compressor here. So, uh, you are observing that this compressor, uh, that is a process, that area of the compressor is gradually decreasing. Why? Because I am, I will suck the air from the atmosphere and I will try to compress that air in the compressor, right? So, if the cross-sectional area of the any section will decrease, so obviously that pressure will be increases, right? So, cross-sectional, if cross-sectional area of any object will decrease, so for that object, the pressure will be more. That's why I am showing here that compressor cross-sectional for this uh, for this area, I am showing that cross-sectional area is decreasing. Means in this compressor, we are uh, going to compress the air to maximum pressure. That is what P2. So, as you know, pressure is directly proportional to what? Temperature. So, pressure is directly proportional to what? Temperature, right? So, you know, uh, better Charles law. So, pressure is directly proportional to temperature. If pressure gets increases, then obviously temperature will be increases right so here in compressor we are trying to increase the pressure obviously the temperature uh, so for the temperature what will happen to the temperature the temperature also increases right here what pressure is here p1 and temperature is what t1 but coming to after compressor it will be p2 and t2 so at the entry of the combustion chamber the pressure of air pressure and temperature of that air will be maximum right so here in this combustion chamber combustion chamber is nothing but in this chamber we will try to ignite the fuel by using what high pressurized air so we will supply the fuel here right it's like kerosene okay kerosene or paraffin oils like this so we are using fuel in gas turbine is like kerosene or paraffin oil so whatever according to requirement okay so in this combustion chamber we are at the uh, in combustion chamber we will supply the high pressurized and the temperature air in the combustion chamber due to that high temperature we will uh, sprinkle the kerosene into this combustion chamber whatever according to requirement we will take 
okay uh, for example i am taking here kerosene so i'll sprinkle the kerosene like this here so due to this high pressure and temperature air it will get combusted okay it will increase its pressure and temperature right so this uh, for this air temperature will be more that is what t3 here so in this in this point we'll get what p3 and t3 so after the combustion chamber so after the combustion chamber the pressure and the temperature of that air will be more compared to what this p2 t2 the pressure and temperature of the air will be more why because we are going to combust the fuel here right okay so of this high pressure and temperature uh, high pressure and temperature of uh, air will get expanded into the turbine right so this is the turbine we are using this turbine to uh, expand the high pressurized air so we will connect this turbine like this we will uh, we'll connect this turbine to the generator so this generator will produce the current here okay so this part is different so now i am going to expand that high pressured air simply it will be gas right if air get compressed then it will become to gas right so if water get compressed then it will be steam but if steam get um, compressed then it will be gas so at the point 3 we will have high pressurized gas so the high pressured gas will expand in turbine by using what nozzle here we will place the nozzle so for the use of this nozzle is so this turbine having blades like this okay we'll have a uh, rotor and blades so we'll uh, expand that high pressured gas onto the blades by using nozzle so nozzle function as we know it will convert the high pressurized energy to kinetic energy so at the end of the nozzle at the output of the nozzle the velocity will be more so it will increase the velocity by decreasing the pressure energy so due to that velocity the that high pressure gas will expand it into the turbine blades so of if turbine blades rotated then the rotor will the rotor of the turbine also rotated so if the turbine rotor will be rotated so by using so we will take that power out okay so we will connect it to the generator and we will produce power but here common thing is we will connect we are connecting a one common shaft to the compressor and a turbine so whatever force are developed in the turbine okay it is used to run the compressor so the major drawback of the gas turbine is what whatever we are developing the power in a turbine so that power is utilizing to run the compressor so that is the main drawback of the turbine so that's where we will get the least efficiency in a gas turbine so nowadays in india we are not using this gas turbines uh, what uh, so why because the lack of efficiency okay in some places they are using gas turbine but we are using only steam turbines okay to produce the power okay but here you coming to this uh, gas turbine the efficiency whatever the efficiency of a gas turbine will be very low okay so here this common shaft is attaching to compressor and turbine so whatever we are developing the power here it is using to it is used to run the compression okay means the, if uh, the power is producing by the turbine so one common shaft is uh, connected to the compressor and turbine so whatever we are developing the power by uh, by using turbine it is used to run the compressor okay basically so we'll have the efficiency for the gas turbine so now i am going to explain the ts diagram of the uh, gas turbine right so i already told you T3 is the maximum temperature of the gas turbine. So I am showing that one only for the T3. I am drawing the TS diagram separately here. Okay. So I am going to the TS diagram. Already we discussed with the PV diagram. Now I am going to discuss the TS diagram. Okay. So I am simply I am right. I am showing here. So TS means you know temperature and entropy. Okay. So here one two process is what adiabatic compression. Okay. One two three is adiabatic compression, and two two three is constant pressure process. Are we are giving heat here and will and will reject the heat here, right? This is what Q in and here Q out. So but thing is that 
area under the PV diagram. So, this area, whatever this area is having, this area under PV diagram will give the work done and area under the TS diagram will give the heat transfer rate, right? So, you are observing here, this is what T1 and this is what T4 and this is T2 and this is what T3, right? Here, T, we are getting T3 after the combustion chamber, right? So, this in this place, in this 2 to 3, we are giving heat here. So, this is what Q in and we are rejecting heat here, what is Q out, okay? Here, we are sucking the air uh, in the inlet of the compressor, that is why this temperature is T1 and after and we are compressing the that air on the compressor, that is what T2, okay? And we are giving some uh, fuel uh, to this high pressure air and we are uh, we are igniting that fuel and we, are, we will get the temperature T3 here. So, this is the maximum temperature T3 and uh, and again we are going to expand that uh, high pressure gas onto the turbines. Obviously, the temperature will be less. So, that is what T4 here. So, as we already, I told you area under the PV diagram will give the uh, work done and area under the TS diagram will give the heat transfer. Why? Because uh, we know the formulas also there for work done, we will use the formulas like this, right? P into V2 minus V1 like this. We will use this kind of formulas, okay? So, area under the PV diagram will give the work done and area under the TS diagram will give the heat transfer. Why? Because heat transfer is what? Heat transfer, uh, DS is equal to what here? So, change in entropy is what? DQ by T, okay? So, here Q is what heat transfer and T is what temperature. If you take T, DQ is common, if you take DQ is common here, DQ is what DS into T, okay. So, is it clear? Area under the TS diagram will give what heat transfer, okay. This is a S and this is a T, is also here, it is S and this is also T. So, it is clear area under the PV diagram will give work done and area under the TS diagram will give the heat transfer, okay. So, I will write the formula for uh, thermal efficiency of a gas turbine. So, what is the thermal efficiency? Thermal efficiency, okay. So, efficiency of a gas, efficiency of a gas, 1 minus 1 by R to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, here, so this is what R, R is nothing but pressure ratio, R compression ratio pressure ratio, okay. And this gamma is adiabatic index, adiabatic index. So, this adiabatic index is uh, different for different gases. For example, I am taking air, uh, air as an input. So, adiabatic of uh, adiabatic index of air is what? 1.4 and it is different for carbon dioxide. For carbon dioxide, it is 1.3. So, whatever we are taking, uh, whatever we are taking the air or whatever carbon dioxide. So, based on that, we will take the adiabatic index and pressure ratio is nothing but uh, P2 by P1, right? So, gamma minus 1 by gamma and 1 minus 1 by, 1 by gamma, R to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, this is the formula for efficiency of a gas turbine. And uh, so, here maximum temperature of the gas turbine will be 1000 degrees. So, maximum temperature of the gas turbine is 1000 degrees. So, another process are there for gas turbine to improve the what uh, efficiency of a thermal efficiency of a gas turbine. So, reheating process and uh, what uh, uh, intercooling process. So, there are three kind of three formula, uh, three process are there by using that uh, uh, process will increase the thermal efficiency. So, we will discuss later.